All right, folks, welcome back here. This is Randy Pritt back in the old saddle gun here on a Wednesday night. We got the freshman taking on, freshman of ALA taking on the freshman all the way from Cactus Shadows up there in North Scottsdale. The Falcons flew over here earlier today, ready to uh, make this thing happen here. And so uh, we got uh, Diego LaSuerre, our technical director, and we have a good friend over here, JB on Starks. JB on, what's your last name? Sorry, bud. Starkley. All right. There we go. So he's on camera. And so at the, we at, we're out at the coin toss. So number 54 is, that's Joshua Riggs, 23. And number 23 is Zach Jeanette. Number 66, and that is Jackson White, and see who wins the coin, coin toss. Cash White's number 10. So, looks like the Falcons won the toss and they defer, so they're going to be kicking off. Let's see what the ref says here. Couldn't quite <laughs> tell his direction there. So it looks like the e Eagles probably will, will, will be receiving. All right, it looks like the Eagles are receiving for tonight. <laughs> nice night for football. The weather is just tremendous here. And the uh, sun has gone down. Looks like Weston Powell will be back deep to receive, number two. And it's going to be along with McCray Skinner, number 30. Actually, he's one of the up backs. And one of the other backs back there is number 23, Zach right, Janae. We got, Janae. In the back. We got Zach Janae. And set to kick off for the Falcons. Looks like he's a lefty. And that's going to be number 24, Keegan number 84, Alexander Smith. Here we go. Actually, I'm sorry. Number 84, that's Alexander kicking the ball. There's the kick. Jeanette, Jeanette with the ball. So it's going to be first and ten for the uh, for the Eagles. First and ten balls on the 40. Great run by Zach Janae. We can hear me now. So it's sounding the same exactly the way it was. So a temporary timeout for the refs here. It's going to be first and 10, ball on the 40-yard line, Eagles. Tyson Webster, number six, he's going to be down low, wide receiver. So a little confusion on the field here, so let's see what the refs say. So we'll get this ball under, this game underway. So probably a yeah, knee pad situation. Make sure we cover those knees. Yeah. 
All right, single setback, which is Weston Powell. Oh, looks like we have a false start on the Eagles. Now, not a way to start the game. Actually, offsides on the defense. So it's five yard penalty. Gonna Still going to be first and uh, five now. Yeah, Ka Cash White set back in the shotgun formation. There's the snap. Hand off Weston Powell up the middle, going to follow his blocks on the outside. It's a foot race from there, and he's going to go all the way. Eagles striking first. Touchdown, yeah, Weston Powell. Powell. Weston Powell, the Pink Glove King. Some great blocking up front there for him to get on the outside, and then from that point, it's just a foot race. Heck of a run by Weston Powell. So here we are for the two-point conversion. That well, looks like we're going to kick the ball. So here we go for the extra point. Six to nothing for, for the Eagles. Weston Powell doing it all tonight. And a kicker spot. And it's over. It's good. So it's going to be... Extra point is good for Weston. He not only made the touchdown, but he also made the extra point. So it might be the Weston Powell show tonight. So that's a quick six on the board. It's only 11.50. At, uh, 11.50 on the, on the clock here. So once everything got situated as far as the knee pads from the other player, from the other side of the field, and then... Uh, the rest is history from there for that touchdown by Weston Powell. And that was a nice little long run there. So And here's Weston Powell with a kick. Nice deep kick. Going back. Oh. That's going to be a tough one to return. Patrick Stifle, number four, on the carry. Looks like he was brought, brought, brought down by Weston Powell. Went down there and made the tackle as well, too. Tackled by number 17, Trey Henderson. Trey Henderson also in on the tackle, number 17. So here it is, first and 10, ball on the 20-yard line of the Falcons. Let's see what this defense for the Eagles has lined up. Eagles versus the Falcons here. Brecken Mitchell, number 10 in the game. Number 10, Brecken Mitchell, right on the field. And off, no, nothing doing there. Legend Reedhead, number 52, in on the tackle. I'll be calling his name quite a bit tonight, so nothing doing there. Legend wasn't having it. There's Breckett Mitchell on your screen there. So you're going to be second down, loss of one on the play, and you're going to be actually, looks about two. going to be second down and 12. All right, we have a shotgun formation, single setback. We got two receivers down low, two up top. Man in motion. There's a snap. The pressure's on. And he gets the pass off. Actually, it's incomplete pass. So, number eight, that was London White, intended receiver. So here we are, it's gonna be third down and long. There's the snap, quarterback back. Nice toss across, little slant, slant route. He's still on his feet, but not for long. Number four with the catch. 
That was Patrick Stifle with the catch, but at the end of it, he got stifled right there at the end of that tackle. And on that tackle, right there, making a hard hit. That was number 23, Jack, Zach Jeanette. Going to be fourth down. Fourth down at about three for the Falcons. And let's see if they bring out the punting unit. Looks like they're going to go for it. Aiden Sanderlin is the quarterback, number 18. Ball start against the Falcons. That's a uh, five-yard penalty. That's, like I said, a five-yard penalty. So they may have to send in the punting unit now. So the whole goal was for that quarterback to draw the defense offside, but it backfired on them and ended up going the other way. Fourth down and seven. There's the punt, little shallow punt. We're gonna take an Eagles bounce right there at about the 35 yard line. So first and 10 for the Eagles. It is now gonna be first and 10 for the Eagles. 35 yard line. Ball on the Falcons 35 yard line. Weston Powell set back as the single set back. Cash wide in at QB. First and 10 ball on the 35 yard line. Wyatt rolling to his right. Looking down deep. Open man just at the last. What a nice ball catch. By Cash White. Right into the hands of number 17, Trey Henderson. Trey Henderson on the catch there. So now for an Eagles first down. And they're looking to strike it again here. Heading towards that end zone. Ball is on about the 15, right at the 15 yard line actually. Cash White said back throw. Ball picked off, going the other way. Now it's gonna be a foot race from here. Weston Powell in on the stop. Ball takes off. We got Weston Powell with the stop. Heck of a run, though. Didn't quite get his number there, but uh, that gentleman just jumped uh, jumped the route and just what a good cornerback should do. And now put a little life into the Falcons. That's a nice shot in the arm. So a little momentum shift, and that's all you need sometimes. First and 10 for the Falcons, the ball on about the 46 yard, 47 yard line. Quarterback set to row, throw, little slant. Heck of a throw right to number two. That was Austin Wood with a reception. Gained about one on the play, gonna be second down going to be second down about nine. It's not going to be second down and nine. Sorry about the wind. We had a little breeze going here. Got the doors open up. Beautiful night for football, like I said earlier. There's a throw out deep or out, uh, out wide. Incomplete pass, ball number intended. With the throw is going to be an incomplete pass. So it's number two, intended receiver Austin Wood. It's going to be set, going to be third down now. Third down and about eight.
Here we go, third down and eight. Ball, look, quarterback looking for a throw. Ball picked off, ill advised throw there. He was under pressure and just trying to, I think he was trying to throw it away and just could not get enough under to get it uh, thrown out uh, on the sideline. So here we go, turnover on, on a pick. And so Number that was six, Tyson Webster with the pressure on the quarterback. Tyson Webster, number six, put a lot of pressure on that quarterback, causing him to make an ill-advised throw. Picked off by Aziel Velasquez, number four. Going to be first and 10 for the Eagles. Ball on the 45-yard line. Here's the snap, motion man. Weston Powell looking to run or throw. So he decides to keep the ball. And he certainly made the, made the defender pay for that one. That was a... Nice hit by Powell, actually. Number seven, but that's going to hurt tomorrow. All right, there's... Uh, once again, Powell on the run. Flag on the play. An amazing run getting the first down, but there is a flag on the play. Let's see what the official says here. Now it's stopping the clock at 6.59 here in the first quarter. Penalty against the Eagles against Four number 17. Balls. Yeah, we second down and short, second down and inches actually. Surprised they don't just, it's pretty close. Yeah, it'll be second down and inches for, I'm sorry, second down about nine going the other way. Let's try that again. Eagles ball. Clark has started. So Cash White set back by himself. Weston Powell in motion. Look for a little swing pass. Now he's going down deep. Oh, ball intended for Landon Banks, number three. Banks was looking for an interference call, but the ball was uncatchable, a little too far out for him. Uncatchable ball, good defense by number. Jimmy, third down and 10. It's number four. Number four, great defense. Patrick Stifel. Had good coverage out there. Making a third down and 10, like I said. Ball on the 45 yard line. So here we go. Cash White handing the ball off. Weston Powell, kind of like the similar play when he scored on earlier. That's all Weston Powell there at the end, just pushing Weston forward. Powell right down the middle, juking the kids out left and right. It's going to be a first and ten. Should be a first and ten for the Eagles. Chains are moving. It's now going to be a first and ten. Ball on the fifth, uh, 35 yard line. Oh, Cash White calls his own number, fakes the handoff to Weston Powell, then breaks out on the left side, trying to see if those linemen on the left side are awake and making some holes for him. There's a shot of Cash White on your screen right there. So Coach Piles is going to give him the play here, 535 and counting here in the first quarter. Want to welcome all of you guys that are watching us. We certainly appreciate that. Thanks for joining in. Once again, my name is Randy Pruitt, back in the old saddle here. We have a game tomorrow night. It's going to be the JV taking, making a trip over to Cactus Shadows over in North Scottsdale. 
And then back here on Friday night, the varsity is going to be taking on the varsity, actually, uh, the Desert, I'm sorry, Cactus Shadows. Falcons and varsity team will be making a trip over here Friday night. Kickoff there is 7 p.m. And then for the JV, kickoff is going to be at 6 p.m. So hope you guys tune in, That uh, those of you who can't make it to the game. Now, it's going to be third down in about two. It's now going to be third down and two. So here we go. Cash White, shotgun. See if we have a motion man here. Weston Powell is your motion guy. Look for the swing pass. Mr. Powell, now he's just going to do the rest. That's a nice, actually, open field tackle. Going to the flat, wide open. Number 12 in on the tackle. I don't have his number or his name, so that was a nice open field tackle, especially against uh, Weston Powell. It is now going to be first and 10. So we'll have to get the number, the name for number 12 eventually. Gavin Edwards in your screen right there from the Falcons. There's a handoff, Weston Powell looking for his blocks and actually brought down, brought down by a couple of Falcons. Brought by Weston Powell, got met by five defenders and put straight to the ground. That was number 14, actually they brought him down from behind as a Rowan Kelly. So Mr. Powell ran into one of his own guys there and that kind of slowed him up just enough for for Rowan Kelly, number 14, to bring him from behind there and bring him down. So you're going to be second down and nine. <laughs> Ball set just about on the 11-yard line. There's the snap. White, white to his right. Looking for a guy and just under throws him. So just didn't get enough mustard on that dog. So ball was intended. Uh, Cameron Shepard, intended receiver. He was wide open in the end zone. If he got that ball up, and that'd have been another six points. So now it's going to be third down for the Eagles. So here we go. Now we have Weston Powell set in the slot. Let's see if he goes in motion. It's gonna be a timeout for the Eagles. It is 326 left in the first quarter. Seven to nothing for the Eagles, and they're striking or knocking on the door for another score. And Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. We'll be back right after this. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website, where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Hey everybody, come down to the Monster Card Shop, the East Valley's number one sports card hobby shop. We've got sports cards, single cards, hobby boxes, and the most Pokemon in the East Valley. Thanks so much and hope to see you soon. All right, third down and goal. Third down and nine, actually, just outside the 10 yard line. Oh, wow. Ran by Weston Powell. Weston Powell. Right away by number 11, Caden Lawrence. On the hit was number 11, Caden Lawrence. Just came out of his linebacker spot. Nobody touched him, so that made it. Uh, 
He had the full power going, and that's why such a harsh hit there. Weston Powell's a tough guy. He's ready to roll. Going to be fourth down, and, and looks like he lost a yard on the play. So going to be fourth down and 11. 250 and counting left into the first quarter's over. Once again, I want to welcome everybody. Here we go. It's going to be fourth and 11 for the Eagles. So it looks like the official is making Cameron Shepard come out due to his knee pads. So we're having some equipment issues tonight on both sides. Not quite sure what that's all about. These guys really like to wear those pads up high. So number 34 in the game, Gavin Bates. We have an official timeout. Oh, actually, false start. Going to be a five-yard penalty. Going to move him back. Actually, 34 is Breckett Mitchell. So it changes up every now and again. They, they get different numbers out there. And All right, Cash White looking to throw deep in the corner. Landon Banks up and just over the string out through his hands. That's going to be a turnover on downs. First and 10 for the Falcons going to west end, towards the west end now. And so I've been informed number 34 is Brecken Mitchell. So, like I said, turn over and down. It's a minute 30 left in the game. Or, I'm sorry, left in the first quarter. Geez, I'm already get this thing over with. All right, sorry, we're back here. It'll be first and 10 for the Falcons. Man in motion. You're going to call it himself or keep it himself. Quarterback looking for number four. He is not open. He runs it and is shut down by Rowdy Gooch. Number four, Rowdy Gooch in on the tackle. So the quarterback is Aiden Sanderlund getting a call from the coach across across the field there. Durant Crook in the game, number 62 on the line. See if he can help make some stops here. Quarterback set back to throw, looking to his Left, throwing it deep, and this fell short. Number 18, Aiden with the throw intended for number two, and it falls a little short. Number two, Austin Wood is the intend, was the intended receiver on that. And it stops the clock with 30 seconds left in the first quarter. It's going to be third down and about seven on the play, or this next play. It is now going to be third and seven. Brecken Mitchell coming into the game for Janae. What is his first name? Zach? Yeah. Turn your mic off. Turn your ear. <laughs> There's the snap. They're going to decide to run it on third down and long. Nothing happening there. Attempted run by number
Joseph Swartz um, was the running back on that play. So it's going to be fourth down and long. And they're probably just going to let the quarter run out. And that's exactly what they're going to do. We're going to come back with the, we have the second quarter coming up. And Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. We're going to be back right after this message. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website, where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. person too. Folks, welcome back here. Top of the second quarter, fourth and long for the Falcons. They have a their punter back set to punt the ball. Almost got touched there. Weston Powell with a nice Reception there for receiving that ball and a nice little run back. So, about a 20 yard run back. So, here we go. It's going to be turnover for actually, it's going to be the Eagles' ball. They got very, very good field position due to that nice little run back there. First and 10 ball on about the 26 yard line. There he is on the outside. That's Cameron Shepard. Nice run. First by Cam Shepard, gaining about 15 yards. Chased down by number 12. Yeah, you're good. Yeah. So it's going to be first and goal for the Eagles. Nice run by Cam Shepard. Once you turn on the outside there, but he did get, he got tracked down there. And Weston Powell in motion, fake the handoff, touchdown. So nice touchdown pass to Gage Gissel. Put more six more points on the board for for the Eagles. Weston Powell set to kick the ball for the extra point. Cash White the holder ball let down up and no good. Just off to the right. So it's going to be 13. Uh, get 13 on the board right now for the Eagles. Sorry, it sounds like we're in a windstorm here. New mics are very sensitive. We do have the doors open up here in the old press box. Press box enjoying this nice weather. So Weston Powell is going to be set to kick the ball.
And set back deep to receive. We got number four, Patrick Even Stifle. Set to kick off, Weston Powell is ready to boot that thing. <laughs> All right, here's the call from the, the whistle from the ref. See if Powell can get some uh, get some foot under this thing, or leg, I should say. Kind of a high kick, just a little little shallow, but it's a live ball. Fumble on the play. Eagles ball looks like. Number seven attempted to receive that ball. 23 gets that ball. Janae. Zach Janae. Zach Janae with the fumble recovery. And so it'll be turnover. Eagles first and 10. Ball on the 36 yard line. So here we go. It's going to be first and 10, like I said, ball on the 36-yard line for the Eagles. Nice turnover, and one thing you have to do about that is when you get a turnover, you're going to have to capitalize and add some more points on that board. Weston Powell would probably thought the ball pretty much can guess who the ball was going to go to on that one. So Weston, he took off like lightning. He was... Ready, excited to go get that ball. So it's a five yard penalty, moving back five, gonna be first and 15. Ball on the 42 yard line, 41 yard line. So let's see what Cash White has. He has four, five receivers to work with. And there it is, a seam route, just Almost picked off there, but so he was open there for if he did he kept on running. He kind of slowed down a little bit. He just if he'd have kept on running, he probably would have ran under that thing. And uh, that's McCray Skinner, number thirty. Gonna make it second down. Checking down here for the Eagles. Weston Powell going to make up for that. Oh, look, got a little turnaround there. I thought he got face masked, but apparently not. So that's a nice run for for Weston Powell. So definitely calling his name quite a bit tonight. Talked to him before the game. And uh, he said he was going to do his best to light this thing up tonight. So he's doing pretty darn good. So going to be another first down for the Eagles. Ball is on the 17-yard line. There's the snap. Looking for a screen right here. Weston Powell, what a screen. That was nice. So he's going to waltz in the end zone. Touchdown. No flags on the play. Going to be another six points for the Eagles and Weston Powell. By Weston Powell, the Pink Club Wonder. So adding six more on the board. It's 19 to nothing. And I'm sure he'll be kicking the extra point as well, too. So actually going to be going in for two, but I hand it off to Weston Powell. So action, adding two, two more points on the board. Going to be 21 to nothing. 
here 943 left to the half and we are going to go to commercial break this is randy pruitt here on the signature network Hey everybody, come down to the Monster Card Shop, the East Valley's number one sports card hobby shop. We've got sports cards, single cards, hobby boxes, and the most Pokemon in the East Valley. Thanks so much and hope to see you soon. Folks, welcome back here. 9.43 left to the half. Eagles score again. It's 21 to nothing. Weston Powell. It's the Weston Powell show. Nice kick that time up the middle. And number 12, don't have his name on the roster. And an open field tackle. Great kick by Weston Powell. Picked up by number 12, but shut down right away by Legend Reed. Number 52, that's a textbook tackle right there. Legend Reedhead. And such a great tackle right there. So it's going to be first and 10 for the Falcons. Ball set on the 27 yard line. 27 yard line. Single setback, shotgun formation, quarterback looking. Pressure's on him, rolled it up. Got the ball off. Number 18, Aiden getting pressured. Tackled by number three, Landon Banks. And that was number two, Austin Wood, with a nice reception. Going to be second down. Gain of about six on the play. Second down and four. Running back. Looking for a hole. Got spun around. Just trying to make something out of nothing. That was number seven, Joseph Swartz. Can't find a hole and he is shut down by number 56. 66, Jackson White. Jackson White in on the tackle. 835 and counting to the half. So nothing doing on the game, probably about barely. Actually, made it back to the line of scrimmage. Aiden Sanderline, shotgun, looking to throw. Little quick slant with a screen out there. Number 18, Aiden with a good throw. Right in the hands of number four, Patrick Stifle. We have an injured player on the field. We have an injured player on the field. Looks like he's holding his right leg. That's Landon Banks. So Landon Banks took a good shot to the side of the leg. So we're going to have, uh, so we'll have an injury time out here. We're going to go to commercial. Randy Pruitt on the Signature Network. person too. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. 
Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Folks, we're back here. First and 10 for the Falcons. The ball on the 40-yard line. That was Landon Banks. Had to have some help off the field. And looks like he may be holding that issue with that right knee. Definitely a lot of pain there. Quarterback set to throw, Aiden. Going to keep it himself. Number 18, Aiden Thrusher attempting to run down the middle and shut down by Jackson White once again. So, Aiden Sanderlin, the quarterback, gained about two and a half on the play. All right, here we go. Sanderlin. Sanderlin actually set the throw. Throws off his back heel under pressure. Number 18 with pressure. Throws it out of bounds. So, looks like Legend Reed head. Throwing the pressure out there. Putting the pressure on the quarterback, I should say. And... Number six, Tyson Webster, also with the pressure. We got Webster with the pressure. <laughs> so they put the pressure on that quarterback, and that's why he had to get rid of it like he did. So that's kind of a danger zone, too. So you can get that's one way to get a ball picked off. Wow, nice throw in the crowd, but couldn't come up with a handle on it. Trying to connect with number three. Great defense by Legend Reed. That's been Wyatt Trillick. Wyatt Trillick. So I probably messed up that young man's name, but I do apologize in advance. We got about fourth and eight for the Falcons. Going to be fourth down and long. There's the snap, fumbled on the snap, and the pressure's on. It's partially blocked. It's a live ball. Punter was absolutely pressured. So it's going to be first and ten for the for the Eagles. Tyson Webster. So also in on the pressure was Tyson Tyson Webster along with number 23. And that's Zach Jeanette. First and 10 for the Eagles. Cash wide into the game. The quarterback got the play from Coach Piles. First and 10 ball on the 40-yard line of the Falcons. Eagles looking to strike again. Trey Henderson, number 17, down low. Actually, offsides on the defense. I mean, offsides on the offense. A scratch at. My bad. You got to look at the sticks and see which way the ball is going here. So, first down and five. There's the ball. The seamer out up the middle. Cut. And just shy of the goal line. Wow, what a great catch, though, on that seam route. That was Gage Gissel. And just reach up, and a nice throw by Cash White, by the way, just over the middle. But uh, yeah, brought down by right about the one. So looking to strike again. Right now it's 21 to nothing for for the Eagles, 625 and counting 
before the half. They're looking to strike again here. Got to protect the nest. Match the Eagles nest here. Weston Powell with the handoff. Weston Powell with the handoff. Right up the gut. And actually got stopped. So it's a nice defensive play by the Falcons. They shut it down in the middle. So what a great play by the Falcons. Oh, actually, it's a touchdown, so it's a little confusion there. One official said that he got stopped. The other official said that was a touchdown, so apparently the one that got the, said the touchdown overruled. And so another six points for the Eagles. So they're going for two again. And you got a big blocker back there, and that's Legend Reedhead, number 52, and along with McCray Skinner, number 30. For the two point flag on the play. So, false start against the Eagles. They're going to move them back a little bit. It's going to be a false start so, this may turn into a passing play if they decide to go for two. So, that brings them back five yards. Ball should be on about the seven yard line. So huddling up here for the Eagles and see if they come out with, they're gonna do, go for the two point conversion. Eagles going for the two point conversion. So they're gonna keep the same play. Another flag on the play. Ball falls short. Ball falls short, but there's another flag on the play. So they're declining it. And so no two-point conversion, no good. And we have a score right now, 27 to nothing. And um, so the it's got, Eagles are definitely making a statement here tonight. So Weston Powell is going to be set to kick the ball. Eagles getting set to kick the ball. 5.55 left to the half. Once again, we'll remind everybody tomorrow night, the JV Eagles will be ta taking a trip over to North Scottsdale over to Cactus Shadows. And then back here on Friday now. Now that the JV game kicks off at 6 p.m. and Friday night back over here at the at the Eagles Nest. Nice little run by that young man. Number 12 picking up that ball. Possibly a face mask. Excuse me, a face mask on the play, I believe. Let's see what the official says. So number 12 don't have his name, but that was a nice little run, and got some positive yards out of that deal. So. Made it all the way back to the back to the 42 yard line. And 15 yard penalty face mask. 15 yard penalty on the Eagles is going to be a face mask. So Falcons over in Eagle territory where they haven't been very much tonight. Ball now lies on the 43 for the Falcons and it's gonna be first and 10. First and 10 for the Falcons ball set on the 43 yard line. Running back in motion, actually wide receiver. That's number three, Ben Wyatrollick. Ran by number three, Fernando. Getting stopped by Jackson White. So going to be second down. It's still long for the for the Falcons. It's going to be second down, 14. Here before the half, I'll get you an update on the Diamondbacks. 
who have won the last two games against the Dodgers and looking to sweep if they win tonight. So they beat them, beat them 11 to two the first night, then last night four to two, and so, and that was over in Dodgerland, over in L.A. And all the folks there wasn't giving the Dodgers, or the Diamondbacks, much of a chance, but uh, they kind of showed them. So. So third down. Just made it to the back to the line of scrimmage. And it's going to be third down for the Falcons. Third down and 10, actually. There's a, kind of a low snap. Quarterback pressures on him. Fumbled on the play. Nice. Jackson White. Jackson White, nice move. Ran in, made the nice tackle, caused him to fumble, but the Falcons got the ball back. Now it's going to be fourth in a country mile. So to give you an update on the Diamondbacks, they're up four to nothing at the bottom of the, th of the third with two outs. So D-backs are really putting on the runs here in this series against the Dodgers. So that's good news for all you D-backs fans. It's now going to be fourth and 20 for the Falcons getting set to punt. And boy, the bats have come out. Nice punt. Got a nice little punt off. It's really close to almost getting blocked. Cam Shepard picking up the ball and stiff arming his way out. So no flag on the play. I thought he got pulled by the face mask, but I guess not. So it's going to be first and 10 for, for the Eagles. And there comes in the big offensive line that uh, put on a pretty good fight tonight in blocking. So once again, it's going to be first and 10. Ball on, see where they set the ball down at, 15 yard line. It is going to be first and 10 for the Eagles. Ball lies on the 15 yard line. Once again, thank you folks for joining us. We certainly appreciate that. Thank you for your support. And also, if you'd like to advertise your business on this network, Get in contact with us through through the network on YouTube, the Signature Network. Weston Powell shut down on that play, which has been a rarity tonight. Tackle by number 44. 44 in on the tackle there. I'll get his name shortly. Cash wide shotgun formation. Got five wide receivers. And looking across the middle. Had him open for a split second. Just kind of let him a little too long. And that, uh, that ball was intended for Trey Henderson, number 17. At that point, if he'd have caught it on that route, it certainly would have been a foot race from there. Because there was no safety back. Safety bit in and went on to the right side there. To help cover another receiver. So here we are, third down and about 12. So Weston Powell's back in the game. Third and 12 for the Eagles. Here's the snap, shotgun. Swinging it out to Powell, looking for a throw, wide open. There he is, wide, oh, broken up. Kind of floated the ball there, so had the right idea, but number 12 just actually, uh, at that point, got on his horse and and uh, went and knocked the ball down. So ball was intended for Trey Henderson. And uh, so it's gonna be fourth down for the Eagles. And looks like Mr. Powell will be 
back there punting the ball. He plays just about every position except center, I guess. So they're going to be putting away from their, probably around their 14, about their 14 yard line. Let's see if Powell can get some leg under this one here. And so set back to receive. There's the punt. Oh, just stuck in the ground right there. So takes a Falcon row. And so a ball killed by number 77 to get down the field and coverage for a big guy. And that's number 77, Brick Hill Heath. So good job, Brick. All right, so we have two minutes exactly left to the half. First and 10 for the Falcons. And they have the ball right on probably about the 37 yard line. 36, 38 yard line. Quarterback rolling out to his left. Ball low. Number 18 pressured by Tyson Webster. Tyson Webster once again on the pressure and just putting it on, on to him tonight. So that's a big play in itself right there. So ball stopping the clock. Incomplete pass. So you're going to be second down now. Second down and 10. So we have a single setback, and looks like quarterback Eden Sanderlin going to set the throw. Now he's going to run for it all he can, get everything he can. That stops the clock at 1:32 for the half. So gain about looks like he gained about two on the play. Going to be third down. Third and long for the for the Falcons. So we have a timeout for the Falcons. Going to be first use timeout. So. Minute 32 left to the half right now. It's 27 for the Eagles, zero for the Falcons. We'll go to commercial break. Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. Be back right after this. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. And we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. All right, folks, welcome back. Third down and eight for the Falcons. Minute 32 left to the half, until the half. Sanderlin set back in shotgun formation, single court, single run back. Looking for the block him up front. Nice arm, nice throw. And no flag on. Yep, here comes the flag. Flag come in a little late. Number four, flag on the play. So that's going to put them down there. So there's a flag on the play right there. Gonna be pass interference against the interference by Weston Powell. against the Eagles. 
So it gives them enough for a first first down, and they're within striking distance to the score. And they just need to take advantage of that situation. So we're gonna be first down, ball on the see what we got here. It's about the 26 yard line. First and ten for the Falcons. The ball is now on the There's a quick throw, quick pop, quick slant. Nice little run. Quick throw thrown to number four, Patrick Seifel. Ball shut down by caught by number three right there. That's Ben Wittrolik. Wittrolik, sorry. So 57 seconds and counting, second down. And they're looking to strike in that end zone. They still have, I think, two timeouts left. But there's a deep throw and just overshot him. So that will definitely stop the clock for them. It's 44 seconds. Ball intended for number two, Austin Wood. And quarterback... Aiden Sanderlin, he has a great arm there, it looks like. And just a little bit too much mustard on that dog right there. So you got to bring it, tone it down a little bit. I think he got a little excited. Well, he was under pressure a little bit. So, and as a quarterback, that's what happens. You get a little under pressure. Sometimes you get happy feet and don't get your feet planted and kind of overthrow a little bit. Wow, nice, nice tackle. Number seven, Joseph Short, attempting to run the So ball. in on the tackle was number 52, Legend Reedhead, and also number 77, Brick Help Heath. I'll get it right. So what a great uh, stop right there. And that was number seven, Joseph Schwartz, with the carry, but nothing doing. So it's going to be four down and 14 seconds left. Looking for the end zone, turn around, had it in his hands and dropped it. Oh, that, I'm sure that young man feels sick. That was Patrick Stifel. So what a what a great it could have been a great play there, right through his right through his hands. So it's going to be turnover on downs. Eight seconds left at the half. More than likely, the Eagles will probably take a knee and get out of this mess. Well, I say mess, not for them, but anyhow, it's not looking good for the Falcons right now, but. There's always another half, and you never know. All right, so the Falcons decide to call, use another one of their timeouts. And so we're going to stick around right here and once again remind everybody about tomorrow night. And that's going to be JV taking a little trip over to Cactus Shadows there in North Scottsdale. And so that that start to kick off is 6 p.m. So uh, you find us here on the Signature Network. So and then also Friday night, once again, a reminder, coming back here. The Eagles taking on the Falcons, the varsity level. And that should be also a pretty interesting game right there. So but uh, so Eagles had it the varsity you know tough tough game last week and uh when they went over to higley and took on the defending 5a state champions so there's the reverse weston powell with the ball running over everybody flag on the play so there's gonna be a flag on the play so time has run out but if it's against Number three, Ben, with a tackle. So it's going to be against the Eagles, looks like. Trying to wait on the official to see what. Penalty is going to be on it. So it's a holding call, decline, and that's it. That's the half. And so 27 and to nothing for 
Eagles. The Eagles. Falcons got to go in the locker room, regroup. There's another half to play. So Randy Pruitt here on the Sport Signature Network. And we'll be back. We'll see you at the half. Attention adult and teens who are ready to learn to drive. Steer Right Driving School is now accepting enrollment and will match any competitor's advertised price while giving you superior services that includes door-to-door -door service. Avoid the hassles and long lines of the MVD. Steer Right Driving School is certified by the state of Arizona to issue you a waiver upon completion of 10 hours of behind-the-wheel training and road evaluation. No MVD exams needed. Family owned and operated with professional instructors who want their students to enjoy learning this important skill. A plus rated by the BBB. Let Steer Right Driving School steer you in the right direction. Call 480-434-2303, 480-434-2303 or go to steerrightdrivingschool.com. And remember, we'll match any of our competitors' advertised price. So save time and start your search with us. SteerRightDrivingSchool.com
Hey, folks, welcome back from the half there. It's uh, top of the third quarter, obviously. So Eagles set to kick. It's going to be Will Parker, number 33, kicking the ball. And he can get a lot of leg under, under this one here. So I think he's going to surprise those backs there for the receiving backs there for, for the Falcons. So the whistle's been blown, and here we go. So it's live ball. Guys carrying it kind of loose out there like a loaf of bread. So brought down by number 50. Number 12 pick up the ball. Uh, that's Luke Jeanette on the tackle. So no, no, not a lot of yards gained on that play. Ball's going to be a 33-yard line, first and 10 for the Falcons, and they're headed towards the east end zone. So some of these players you saw in the first half probably won't be playing in the second half. So by rule, if a player plays, say, say a freshman uh, player can play up and play the JV game tomorrow night. So they're only allowed between the two games, they're only allowed to play five quarters. Shotgun formation. Quarterback set back to throw. Plenty of coverage, plenty of time. Finally, it breaks down. Looks like it'll be a holding probably on, on the play. So that was a nice move by Patrick Stifle, the, the receiver, number four. Little juke and jive. Unfortunately, it's going to be a holding call against the Falcons. So it kind of rains, it pours, and that's it. And that's what happens, unfortunately. So here we go. It's going to be. That's a ten-yard penalty. That's the big, big hit you get for ten yards. So, going to replay the down. Going to be first and twenty for the Falcons. Sets the ball on the twenty-three-yard line, and the clock is ticking. So Aiden Sandlin. Still in at quarterback, number 18. Going to quick throw out, out to the side there, but just a little too, mustard on, too much mustard on that dog. And number four uh, was the intended receiver, Patrick Stifle. They just couldn't find a handle on that one. They're going to be second down 20 now for the Eagles. I mean, for the Falcons. Getting my birds mixed up there. A nice little run up the middle there. So number 30 in on the tackle, stopping that. McCray Skinner. So a nice little stop right there. And number 50 in on the tackle as, as well too, Luke Janae. So the Diamondbacks are still winning four to nothing. And they got four solo home runs in early in the game. That's amazing. They keep the keep the sticks of swing and keep them moving. All right, so here's the pass, pitching that, throwing it on the outside. Overthrows his receiver. Ball intended for number 14, Rowan Kelly. Wide receiver plays on the right side out there, up there. Also, he's a defensive end as well, too. So QB just had a little too much on that. He does have a strong arm, but he just needs to tone it down a little bit and get hit his receivers so they can get something going here. So it's 27 to nothing, and uh, Eagles are up, obviously.
Cactus Shadows is actually in Cave Creek. I said earlier, North Scottsdale. Number 18, trying to connect. But that was a nice throw. Number 13, Taryn Sproul. Sprewell, I'm sorry. And he was the intended target on that. So turnover on downs, first and 10 for the Eagles. That's going to be a turnover on downs. It's going to be first and 10 for the Eagles. Ball still on the 27 yard line. So in a quarterback, we have number nine, Jace Acevedo, who's in the game. It's going to be first and 10 for the Eagles. There's a handoff. Brecken Mitchell, nice tough run by that young man. Number nine, our quarterback, Jace Avesedo. <laughs> so nice run once again by Brecken Mitchell. I want to say hi to his family up there in Utah. Thank you guys for watching. We certainly appreciate you watching every week. So let's see if Brecken can get uh, get one in the end zone for you. So give me second down and eight. Acevedo actually going to keep the ball himself, tuck it and run. Fumbles out of bounds, brought down by number 44. So here we go, gonna be third down. Let's see if they come out swinging here or just gonna keep it on the ground. Give uh, Mr. Mitchell a chance to run the ball. All right, Breckin Mitchell single setback. Acevedo quarterback, shotgun formation. Three receivers. Actually stretch at four receivers. Play action pass. All intended for number eight, that's Cam Shepard. But unfortunately, the quarterback and the receiver were not on the same page on that play. Gonna make it fourth down. And if the QB would have saw him, he actually broke loose and uh, he was wide open. So, and looks like they're gonna go for it. Acevedo getting the ball, getting the call from Coach Piles. A lot of you know that Brandon Phelps actually set some all-time Arizona high school football records last week, and I'll go over that here shortly. Brecken Mitchell in motion, fake the handoff, seam route up the middle. Nice catch, nice run. First down for the Eagles. Gage Gissel loves that seam route. Jace Acevedo, nice throw, nice strike. Good blocking up front. You got to hand it to the guys up front blocking. And without them, this would not be happening. So, and they're knocking on the door, the Eagles are. First and 10 ball on about the 11 yard line. Mitchell with the carry, running hard. Had to follow his blocks there. So gets it down to about the five yard line. Gonna be second down, five for the Eagles. It is now gonna be second and five. <laughs> Acevedo getting the call coming in. And let's see if they grind it out. See if Mitchell can get in the end zone there. Right. 
Clears the handoff, Mitchell going on the outside. Touchdown, Touchdown! Brecken Mitchell. What a nice run. Good blocking up front. And just hitting the hole and then plowing right through there, just kicking it out on the outside. The wheels were turning and burning at that, and that's why he got in that end zone. They couldn't quite catch him on that deal. So nice touchdown for Mr. Mitchell there. Like I mentioned earlier, uh, D-backs, they hit four home runs in a row. And that's, uh, you don't see that too often. So, extra point is up. It's good. Will Parker, number 33, putting the exclamation point on, on that one right there. So, back to Brandon Phelps. He broke the record. So, Christian Kirk, who is in, he's a NFL player who, he got drafted by the Cardinals, and now he actually plays for for the Jaguars. And great receiver coming out of uh, Saguaro High School in Scottsdale. So he set the record for the most touchdowns and the most yards in a high school career for, for obviously, a high school player here in Arizona. And that record stood for nine years, but Brandon Phelps broke the rec two records last week over to Higley High School. And uh, unfortunately, the Eagles didn't come out on top of that one there, but they were playing against the 5A state championship team, and they certainly show why they're the 5A state defending champions. And so Phelps, he has 53 touchdowns, receiving touchdowns, and so that breaks a record. And the all-time yards uh, was over 3,900, and I want to say probably 53. I'd have to look back at the stats there and um, see where uh, exactly what uh, what he had there so but anyways he broke the records and so tomorrow Thursday uh, he actually got player of the game player of the week I should say and so he is going to be recognized by the Cardinals they're coming to campus and tomorrow morning and going to present him with the player of the week award and I think comes all, what comes along with it he actually I believe he gets on the sideline of one of their games if I'm not mistaken so if I'm mistaken if I'm right somebody text me that knows my number and let me know and kind of correct me if they need to and so anyhow so I'll get back to his uh, to his stats so and uh so, yeah, 53 uh, receiving touchdowns by Mr. Phelps, which is awesome. That's a, that's a lot of TDs. So, um, and, of course, a lot of yards that go along with that. And so last year he had, so he had the advantage or the privilege of having Adam DeMonte, quarterback, uh, throw, throw him the ball. So. And Adam actually is a true freshman, and he was committed. He got committed, or he committed to NAU, and with that, he started. Uh, he's a starting quarterback for NAU, the Lumberjacks, up there in, in uh, Flagstaff. So, last week he had a good game. They they won, and then he's he's got two wins under his belt. So Adam Demonte, uh, perfect fit for for the Lumberjack. So uh, not only can Adam beat you with his arm, but he can beat you with his legs as well, too. So so it's going to be um, the it's going to be third down and 11 here for for the Falcons. 5.59 left in the third third quarter here. And so going into the other night, Friday night's game, actually, um, he was about 100 yards away from breaking the uh, Christian Kirk's receiving yards, so, and then uh, he did pass uh, Josh Weeks on receiving yards as well, too, so, and Josh Weeks actually played for Coach Rice Store back in 2010, where he set that record, and he, he played with uh, uh, Wraith and uh, Rice Store, Coach's son, and uh, so anyways, that's uh, pretty, pretty interesting how things like that come around. 
And so Long Bomb Brandon, as his uncle likes to call him, put those uh, put those uh, records out there. And so they hopefully they hold for a long time. So and Brandon is committed to. So the record actually he only needed 85 yards going into. Friday, last Friday's game, so Christian Kirk's record was 3,943 yards that he set from uh, 2011 to 2014, and so, but you got to keep in mind now um, that Brandon did it in less, less games, so which is truly amazing, and plus he had to play through the pandemic, and uh, you know he didn't have a full season there, so. Uh, so everything was kind of stacked against him, but he come out on top and he broke those records. So if you see Brandon Phelps, uh, tell him congratulations, which is awesome. He's committed to U of A, so he's going to be a wildcat. And so it's exciting to see him play coming up this next season. All right, first and 10 for the Eagles ball on the 40-yard line. Motion man. Going around, trying to get on the outside there, and he does turn the corner and just brought out of bounds. Unfortunately, there is a flag on the play. So that was stolen from the back judge. Chase hands the ball off to Rowdy Gooch, but unfortunately, trying to see what he had there. That was Rowdy Gooch actually on that uh, on that run. So that's first, uh, I'm sorry, that's 10 yard penalty. That's a holding call. First, and 20. first down and actually in the country mile. So ironically enough about Brandon Phelps, he really didn't want to be, you know, he moved from Washington, but he really didn't want to be, didn't want to play football. He's, he was a soccer guy, but his dad talked him into playing. So, and that's, uh, Brandon said, well, that's the best decision he, he's ever made for him so as you can tell <laughs> so the rest is so-called history there and like i said brandon congratulations if you're watching congratulations to your mom and dad too because you know they got you to those games and your biggest supporters all right here we go rolling out to his right looking for a throw picked off and that is what you call an interception so the ball picked off by number 14 right there, and that's Rowan that Kelly. We've called his name a few Rowan. times tonight, but Rowan, defense, Rowan Kelly was in the right place at the right time. Going to be first and 10 for the Falcons. Ball set right on the 50-yard line. Five minutes at the third quarter. Falcons are going to take charge and change first and 10. Throw some more stats at you just to kind of blow you away about Brandon Phelps. So 17 100-plus yard games, 6 150-yard-plus games. One 200 yard plus games. His career high 13 receptions in a game. And he did that twice. And so that's, uh, and then one game he actually against ACP, uh, he had 236 receiving yards. So, and look forward to seeing him in that Wildcat uniform and see what he does at the college level when he takes it to the next level. And uh, that's going to be exciting. All right, first and 10 for the Falcons. Quarterback set back to throw. Looking deep, going strong, over the top, and just too much arm. He's got honing in a little bit there. And but he was being covered out there. Um, so that uh, could have been a dangerous throw if he would have been on, you know, close to the target. Going to be second down. Second down for the Falcons. 4.42 left in the third quarter. And it's 34 to nothing for the Eagles. Yeah. Quarterback tip throwing out. Oh. Right through the hands. And I know Patrick Stifle probably wants that one back. Aiden, wide open. Fortunately, that receiver just could not hold on to that ball. Hey. 
So we're going to be third down, like I said, third and ten for these guys, for the Falcons. Uh, definitely trying to play from behind and looking for a nice toss out there. An old flag on the play. Ball intended for Taryn Spruill. Spruill. I'll get that right. Sorry about that. Messed up the young man's last name. Sproul is his name. And uh, he's been intended to target a few, few times tonight, just not able to capitalize and, and uh, get bring those balls in. We'll give you a Diamondback score here, update here shortly. Fourth and ten. Fourth and ten for the Falcons. Looks like they're going for it. Number 22, Colin Peters uh, in the game. And what a nice catch. Tippy toe. Number 14. Rowan Kelly. There's tippy toe on the sidelines to make sure his feet were in. What a great throw. The quarterback was definitely under pressure there. And back to help block was number 22 who's just fresh in the game. That's Colin Peters. And, uh, and looks like the he made the block and pushed it with one player into the other player. And there you go. So gives them a first down, showing a little life here. And they've been throwing quite a bit tonight. So motion man is, is Austin Wood, number two. Three receivers up top. There's the handoff down low and up the gut. Nice little block and a nice little run by that young man. 22 right up the gut and gets tackled by number 30, McCray Skinner. McCray Skinner in on the tackle. Nice run by number 22, Colin Peters. And looks like he gained about five on the play. Going to be second down and five for the Falcons. Showing some life here. Like I said, they got three receivers up top. It's going to be official time, or actually going to be timeout by the Falcons. And so this is Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. We're going to go to break. We'll be back right after this. Hey everybody, come down to the Monster Card Shop, the East Valley's number one sports card hobby shop. We've got sports cards, single cards, hobby boxes, and the most Pokemon in the East Valley. Thanks so much and hope to see you soon. Too. Back here from the timeout. Gonna be second down and five for the Falcons. Quarterback sitting back to throw. Pressure's on, rolling out to his right. And brought down. 18 gets pressure and gets tackled. What a great hustle. Durant Cook. Grant Cook, number 62, just tracking him down like a man on a mission. What a great tackle right there. So it's going to be third down and long for the for the Falcons. Breck and Mitchell wanted me to give a shout out to his brother Cooper Mitchell. Cooper, I hope you're watching. That touchdown was for you, buddy. We thank all the Mitchells up there in Utah. All right, here we go. Quarterback shotgun formation. We're going to throw, rolling out to his left, tossing it over. Oh, ball almost picked off. Will Parker almost picked that ball off, and he was at the right place at the right time and just couldn't put the handle on that thing. But what a great defensive play by that young man. 
He's not just a kicker. He's a defender. Playing in the backfield there. Linebacker spot. Looks like an outside linebacker. I know he's kicking himself on that one. He certainly wanted wants that one back. I think he got a little excited there and probably saw the end zone before, before he brought that ball in. So, But what a great play, though. There's a deep throw again. One of these are going to hit. And he launches it deep to number four, but it's stuck. Ball intended for Patrick Stifle. What a great throw by that young man. It's going to be turnover on downs. So Eagles first and ten. Thirty-four to nothing. Two oh six left to the until the third period is over with. So let's get uh, try to go in and get you some scores from give me an update on the uh, on the Arizona Diamondbacks. And so we'll do that shortly. There's a nice handoff up the middle. Brecken Mitchell still run his feet. Wow, still tough to come down, bring down. Brecken Mitchell with the run. Amazing run. Just when you thought uh, he was down, he just kept those wheels moving. And that's what you got to do. So we're going to be gaining about six on the play. Going to be second down. Actually, sorry, five. So second down and five for the Eagles. Now going to be second and five for the Eagles. So Landon Banks was hurt earlier in the game. He's on crutches right now with ice on his right knee. So I don't have a full update on exactly what happened or what uh, what happened or what the problem is. But Brecken Mitchell looking for a hole and way to go. Now for an Eagles first down. Nice run. So it's still 4 nothing for the Diamondbacks. It's those four solo home runs in one inning. And it's the top of the six there. Actually, bottom of the six. And, of course, AZ. The Diamondbacks lead that series two games to none. And they're in the driver's seat. Nice throw over the top. Just behind them just a little bit. Intended for Cam Shepard. And being guarded by number 10, Gavin Edwards. So just a little bit behind him. If he'd let him on that, he had to jump up for that one a little bit as well, too. So a little high. And so second down and 10 for, for the Eagles. Ball on the 45-yard line. So there's no outs for the Diamondbacks right now. At the bottom of the six. Nice run, handoff up to hang on to the ball. And they were going for the ball, and Brecken Mitchell held on to it. That was a hard run for a couple of yards, but. Young man down on the field right now. And they'll see what number he is. The number 70 gets up and walks off on his own. And so, the end, of the third end of the third quarter, we're going into the fourth quarter right now. And this is Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. We're going to be back right after this. We deliver the answers to your questions by building a plan with you that is always available to you through your own personal financial website, where you can see your complete financial picture and how you are tracking towards meeting your goals in a simple, clear, easy to view way, allowing you to check in on your progress anytime, anywhere. 
and we'll stay with you along the way to keep you pointed in the direction of your dreams so you can focus on everything else. Together, we can build a plan for your financial life. Let's get started. Hey everybody, come down to the Monster Card Shop, the East Valley's number one sports card hobby shop. We've got sports cards, single cards, hobby boxes, and the most Pokemon in the East Valley. Thanks so much and hope to see you soon. All right, it's going to be third down and eight here, starting of the fourth quarter. Ball, 46, seven yard line. Man in motion, that's Brecken Mitchell. Cutting back up and nowhere to go. Initially blocked or tackled by Joseph Schwartz, who had some other Falcons surrounding him there, helping him out. Loss of one on play, going to be fourth down. Uh, or actually, going to be fourth down and eleven. So you don't want to go the wrong direction. I mean, uh, well, I mean, you are thirty-four up 34 to nothing, but when these other guys get some playing time, they want to do the best they can uh, to, you know, make some noise and take advantage of their playing time when they get in. So even though the score is 34 nothing, that's, like I said, they're going to do what they can to have a good game. Fourth and 11, the Eagles are going for it. We got Three receivers up top, two down low. Going to be a timeout. No, nope. timeout for the Eagles. They're going to regroup on and that. That is a timeout for the Eagles. So we're going to stick around right here. So timeout for the Eagles. It's, it's fourth and uh, fourth and eleven. And normally he would punt on this, possibly. But like I said, these other guys are getting to play some playing time, giving them the uh, opportunity to. Get in there and make some noise. And so, well, we just hope the Diamondbacks can hold on tonight. That's awesome. So, of all teams, the Dodgers and, uh, like I said, the D backs, a lot of people didn't have given them a chance at all. So, Surprise, surprise. The B D backs have been striking. First game, eleven to two. Second game, four to two, which was two nights ago. And then uh, now tonight, it's right now it's four to nothing. They got the four runs, four home runs in a row. That's crazy. To me, that's I mean that's a great statistic right there. I wonder if that's a wonder if that's a record, but anyhow. We'll have to look back in the old record book and see. All right, so here we are, shotgun formation. Jace Acevedo in the, in the shot, in at quarterback. It's going to be. And that is a penalty on the defense. So that's an encroachment call or offsides, actually. And it's going to be still going to play the replay the down. It's going to be fourth down. It's going to be fourth down about six ball right on the 49-yard line. All right, I want to give a shout out to James and Cherry Pompeo. Big Diamondbacks fans, also a big Eagles fans. So they got both games going. They're multitasking. Nice throw. Brecken Mitchell. Amazing, Jace. That was an absolute dot to Brecken Mitchell getting the first down, but gets tackled by number 12. Nice run by Brecken Mitchell. Came in like a breaking ball. There you go. 
great run by Brecken. That's why we call him the Brecken Ball. All right, going to be first and ten. Nice run, a nice handoff there, but Falcons weren't having it. First and ten for the Eagles. But Craig Skinner takes that ball, attempts to run to the house. Gets shut down by a flock of Falcons. <laughs> So that was a, it's going to be a loss of about, about a half a yard, about a yard actually on that play. So Mitchell brings the play in. Second 11 for the Eagles. So second down 11, here we go. See what Acevedo can do here. Once these Eagles get situated and trying to get it all figured out here. So there's the run. There's the throw. Wide open. Nice defensive play right there at the end. You got to hand it to that young man. That was number 33 in on that play right there. I don't have that young man's name, but what a great defensive play. Number 33, great defense, Tyler Neese. Tyler Neese with that great defensive play possibly saved a touchdown. Going to be third down and 11. Ball still on. 29-yard line. 8.56 left to the game. And it's 34 for the Eagles, zero for the Falcons. Nine minutes left of the game. We got third and 11 for the Eagles. We got Trojan Carr doing the announcing tonight. So first time doing that. He's rocking and rolling over there. We gotta get our receivers have to get in position here. Low snap. Quarterback Acevedo nowhere to go. Fumble on the play. The ball is loose. Unless they blew the whistle first. Well, it looks like they're jumping up and down over there on the sideline across the field there. And I haven't had an indication from any, haven't seen the refs say anything different yet. It's now fourth and 15. Yeah, we fourth down, fourth down and 15, 16, somewhere in that area. Acevedo back in the game with the play. It has his Eagles huddled up now to break out a huddle here. So see what the call is. And they just have to get some blocking up front. So in the single setback position, that's going to be Brecken Mitchell set back. He's going to swing out. Quarterback rolling to his left. And there's a the throw picked off. Number nine, Jace, throws a pick to number 30. Number 33 in on the tackle, or in on the interception. So he made that play earlier. And uh, that time he got the handle on that one there. So he made a good defensive play earlier. So going to be first and 10 for the Falcons. That's, uh, that gives them a little shot in the arm and get a little confidence. See what they can do here in the, with 7.46 left to the game, in the game. But uh, great, great job by that young man. So first and 10 ball on the about ball. the 11 yard line. And 
There's the snap. QB looking to throw. Going to swing it out to. I think we're still up and running. Still going. Gets tackled by a whole Eagles defense. That was number 13. That's Taryn Sproul on that reception. So going to be second down. Almost a first down. So good run after the catch right there. So just when you thought he was down, he just kept those feet going, and that's what you got to do. Just grind it out. Make the defense try to try to bring you down. So I'm going to hand off up the middle. Hand off number 22. Let's pray Skinner stop that. Number 22, Colin Peters on the carry. McCray Skinner in on the tackle. Clock is ticking. 645 and counting. And it's going to be first and 10. Just enough for a first down for for the Falcons there. So now they'll probably go back to throwing here. It's going to be first and 10 for the Falcons. Let's see what they can do. Man in motion. They're handing off going to the other side. Amazing run by number 22 gets shut down by number 50. Luke Gennett. And in on the tackle, also number 30 as well, too, along with Luke Janae. The number 30, that's McCray Skinner in on that tackle. Second and six for the Falcons. Second down and six for the Falcons. Here we go. There's the snap, looking to throw. Got pressure coming on him. And you're going to tuck it and run. And so nice little run by that young man. That's, uh, that's Aiden Sanderlin. It's going to be first and 10 for the Falcons. Ball still, or clock is still kick, ticking. Ball is now on the 42. Five minutes and 20 seconds left. So as you see on your screen there, the Falcons are getting the huddle waiting for the play. Come in from coach over there. It's going to be Aiden Sandler, Sanderlin, Sanderlin. Let me get that right. The quarterback. He's had a tough night tonight. He's been under a lot of pressure, and he's got a good arm, but just unfortunately, just been kind of overshooting his guys, uh, just because he is under pressure. First and ten for the Falcons. And when you're under pressure, it's just kind of hard to. Hard to make uh, make those complete passes. Nice throw. Nice catch. Wow. That ball was caught. The number two. Austin Wood. Austin Wood bringing it. So nice throw, nice catch. So that was a very positive play for those guys. It's now going to be second and two for the Falcons. So here we go, Falcons, second down one. Here we go. Ball is at the 49-yard line. Looking to throw it again. Thought they found something over there, but nothing doing. So going to be third down. He tries to connect it to number 13, but man, he is just too strong. Number 13, intended receiver, Taryn Sproul. Third and short, look for a quick dive up the middle. Third and short for the Falcons. Man in motion. There's the dive. And nice little counter play. So that's a first down for the Falcons. Colin Peters. One nice run by a young man, Colin Peters.
First and 10 for the Falcons. Here we go. Ball on the 46 yard line. 318 and counting. There's a snap. Looking for a deep pass. Has the arm up and ball just knocked away. Easton Weiser. That was a good throw. Mark, ball was on the money, but Easton Weiser had different plans for that, and he uh, at the right in the right place at the right time. So that was a good play by Mr. Weiser. The receiver did get behind him a little bit, but he had the makeup speed uh, to get there to knock that ball down. Ball but might have been thrown a little bit more. A little further than he probably would have had a little something there. That's a nice move by that young man. Just quick pass out to the left top of your screen there. That ball was caught by number 13. That's Terrence Sproul. So it's going to be third down and about five for the Falcons. Ball on the 41 yard line. 237 and counting for the game. It is over. Once again, I want to thank everybody for joining us tonight. Hope you've enjoyed enjoyed the game, especially all you folks that are, uh, you know, you, we certainly all you folks out there watching, obviously, that uh, just hope you enjoyed the tonight's broadcast. That's going to be another first down for the Falcons. So they're moving the chains here late in the game, and they're just trying to. Get that Two duck off the board the there. Nobody wants to go home with a goose egg on the board, so they're working their way to try to get a touchdown, at least put some points on the board. And that's what their goal is right now. First and 10, here we go. She had four wide receivers rolling out to his right. Ball caught, nice catch. Wow, what a nice catch. He kept his eye on the ball. That was Patrick Stifle. And the ball just rocketed in there. Nice, nice arm uh, by uh, Aiden Sandron. It's a nice throw. And ball was almost, almost picked off. Actually went through Trey Henderson's hands there. I thought he was going to pick that thing off, but just had a little too much zip on it in there. Just enough for number four to catch that ball. There's a throw across the middle. And that's how you get your players hurt. So the wrong place, the wrong time. So they're gonna be second down for, for the Falcons. So everybody's getting up, so no injuries there. That's a good thing. Luckily, no one was hurt. So we have a timeout. And uh, timeout by by the Falcons and so we're going to go a quick commercial break be back right after this Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network Hey everybody come down to the Monster Card Shop the East Valley's number one sports card hobby shop we've got sports cards single cards hobby boxes and the most Pokemon in the East Valley thanks so much and hope to see you soon All right, folks, welcome back. Going to be third down and two for the Falcons. 58 seconds left in the game. So they're looking to strike. And they're probably going towards the throw towards the end zone again. Nice throw. Good arm. Just right out of reach. Right off his hands, I should say. So it stops the clock at 50 seconds. That took eight seconds to play. But... Uh, just right on target. Receiver just couldn't bring it in on that one there. Looks like it hit him right on the hands. And so, but that's a tough catch to make when you have a defender right in your face. And so, 
Well, he's trying to trying to make that happen. That would have been a great, uh, great catch, great touchdown. So I'll give you another update here on the D-backs here shortly. So a nice little pass out to the out route. Number 18, Stops the clock. Going to be enough for. And that's a first down. Going to be a first down for the Falcons. 44 seconds left in the game. 40 seconds of the game, and it's going to be first and 10. So it looks like here. Diamondbacks get now this one here. It's going to be. It's four to two right now. Dodgers gained a couple of scores since we last talked. And there it is. Touchdown. Touchdown, Falcons. Amazing throw by Aiden. Right in the hands of number 14. That's Rowan Kelly. Rowan Kelly. Kelly. Nice catch there. And so. Aiden Sanderlin, definitely enough arm all night. He's been throwing, throwing really good. Finally, he got a strike on that one. And that's exactly what their goal was here to take that goose egg off the board. So give them six points. They're going to go for two here. Roll it out to his right. Nobody open. Going to tuck it and run, keep it himself. And there it is, two-point conversion. Is successful. So they got eight points on the board. They wiped out that goose egg, and so they're very happy about that. We're going to stick around right here, and we only have about 20 seconds left in the game. And so I would anticipate they can work on their onside kick. They might as well. Might as well do that. So, but uh, anyways, the Eagles have been playing lights out tonight. Been a, Putting uh, putting up a good fight there and putting some big points on the board, which is nice. That's what you want to do is have that nice cushion right there. So, but uh, at that point with the Falcons here in the fourth quarter, especially when the time was running running low, like I said, their whole goal was just to get a score. And so, and the Eagles obviously wanted to wanted to shut them out. Kind of a pride issue, I guess for most teams. So they're going to be kicking off from their 40 yard line and we're going to look for an onside kick here. So let's we'll see where the kicker goes with this. No, nope, going deep. No onside kick. So Zach Jeanette, Jeanette, I should say, he was uh, caught that ball and brought it back quite a ways there. Nice, nice little run back. Give me 11 seconds left in the game. First and 10 for the Eagles. Probably look for them to take a knee here. And so. See if that's what they do, take a knee here. So Diamondbacks, four to two, bottom of the seventh inning, no men out. D-backs are at bat. So there it is, that's the ball game, folks. Eagles 34 and the Falcons eight. So in the battle of the birds, Eagles come out on top. Randy Pruitt here on the Eagles Signature Eagles Network. Eagles now, Eagles reminder, Eagles tomorrow Eagles night, Eagles kickoff Eagles. is going to be 6 p.m. And so the JV team is going to be taking on, going over to Cactus Shadow, which is in Ca Cave Creek. So it's going to be a nice little little hike for JV. And then, uh, that, like I said, that game kicks off at 6 p.m. And then we're going to be back here on Friday night. It's going to be senior night for, for the Eagles. And kickoff is going to be at 7 p.m. Cactus Shadow, the Falcons will be coming over here on, on senior night and uh, here to the Eagles Nest. Once again, Randy Pruitt here on the Signature Network. Have a good night, folks. We'll talk to you tomorrow night.
God bless you.